All You Need in 4 Minutes presents the Vixia HF R600. The R600 is the next version of the popular Vixia R500. It boasts many of the same features as its predecessor and brings, as you would expect, some small improvements along with new packaging. The R600 is comfortable in the hand, is lightweight, and features a built-in lens cap. The camera does warn the user when the cap is closed by displaying a warning on the beautiful 3-inch touch capacitive display. The camera shoots in 1080 HD 60 frames per second in AVCHD mode or 1080 HD 30 frames per second in MP4 mode at 3.28 megapixels on the HD CMOS chip. The display does show fingerprints, but its glossy finish did surprisingly well in harsh and low light conditions. Brightness can be further adjusted in menu settings. The capacitive display menu selection did okay with my pickle jar crushing hands and sausage thumbs, but was clearly meant to flourish in the hands of a soccer mom. I may be purchasing a stylus. Initial setup is just a few screens, language, time zone, and current time. My SD card was already initialized, so I did not need that screen. The charger loaded the battery to a full charge in just a couple of hours. The two-prong charger can be inverted at the wall socket as not to hog the receptacle. The new R600 battery system is not compatible with older batteries or chargers from the Vixia HF20 or the HFR10. I do have two R600, so from here on out when I'm shooting this review with the other R600, you will see this icon in the type right corner. In studio, the camera's light frame fit my robotic camera head fine as it fits comfortably on the photography or video tripod mounting plates. The flip-out display can completely rotate around for video selfies. Footage mats just fine on the green screen and focus can be adjusted by zooming in and clicking desired focus points on the capacitive display. I find having to have the display open to accept the mini HDMI connection cumbersome and a danger to the display. I also wish the on off button was on the outside of the case of the camera and not hiding behind the display door. In the field I'm assuming the majority of people will be shooting this camera in automatic mode. I will say that this feature is wonderful and will adjust through the modes for you as light conditions change. When I shot in auto mode, I felt the video looked slightly blue or cool and liked working through the modes myself in scene or SCN setting. I decided to shoot in the intense beautiful light of sunrise in early March at a mostly closed park. Portrait mode can provide a crisp, defined subject with a feathered background. Cinema mode made colors pop and appear to slightly increase the contrast levels. Sunset mode appeared to dull the intensity of harsh light but bring out what was hiding in the shadows a bit. Sport mode kept on top of fast action, allowing this rather fast-paced footage to record without dropped frames or glitchy, undefined lines. Those of you that shoot sports know exactly what I'm talking about. The stabilization processing is amazing and records this wrestling match without a tripod nearly flawlessly. Low light settings can be seen here in my control room. Despite a little graininess to the footage, the dust can be seen very clearly. I really need to clean up. The 57 time optical zoom is amazing on this camera. Focusing out at the end of the zoom proved difficult to be able to pull into this sign from 180 feet away and read it. It was amazing. The footage was shot in very flat light just before a snowstorm in automatic mode. All in all, I was very impressed with the R600, but did not see the importance of upgrading to it. The R500 is a great camera with identical specs. Maybe there are a few additional menu items inside the R600. Most of my complaints centered on the form factor of the camera and its hidden HDMI, mic, and headphone ports. I would have loved to have had seen them outside of the display area. Not having a dust boot for the power port concerns me too. This concludes our review of the Canon Vixia HFR600, a capable camera with moderate issues regarding port placement, compatibility with many accessories for the R500, and a phenomenal zoom with a rich collection of settings for image enhancements.